In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this neckline using partial knitting. I'm ready to start shaping my neckline. And if you would like to see how I made this garment, you can check out my Patreon where I filmed the whole process. And also you can download charts for the feral design. I will leave a link in the description down below. So I've placed on hold, stitches on the left side all the way to needle 20 on the right side. And now I'm ready to start knitting and I'm going to only knit this section here. I'm just going to put my carriage in holding position. For the brother, all you have to do is to move this little knob from N to H. And now when I knit across, it's going to knit all the way up to the needle that is pulled in holding position. Because I don't want to create a hole, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the yarn around the last needle like so. So it just goes under. And now when I'm going to knit to the right, a loop is going to be formed around this needle and this will stop a little hole from forming. I'm going to push another needle and knit another row. Wrap my yarn around this last needle, go under it. And then again, push another needle, knit one more row. Wrap the yarn around the last needle. We'll continue that for about maybe 15 needles in total. So I've done that over 14 needles and now I knitted one row to the left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast off this section. I'm going to again wrap my yarn around the last needle, manually knit the next row and then start casting off. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side, but this time I'm putting needles in action all the way to needle 20 on the left side. In order to do that, all I have to do is just push them back a little, making sure that stitches are not dropping. And now when I'm going to knit across, these needles will knit and these ones will not. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side, wrap my yarn around the last needle and knit one row. And again, that little loop is going to be formed around the needle. Push one more needle, knit one more row.
just like on the other side I pushed out 14 needles and now when I'm going to knit the last row I'm going to wrap the yarn around the last needle and I'm going to manually knit one needle one stitch and then cast off this section In total I have 40 needles in the very center and that will be the section of my neckline where I don't have any shaping so it's the straight section in the front and then I shaped every two rows 14 needles each side just in case you want to try this as well. Obviously you're going to have to test this for yourself depending on the yarn you're using, the tension you are using. In total I'm using four ends of yarn, one end of coast from Knoll and this is a 114 cotton lambs wool and then three ends of a very fine recycled polyester. I'll be honest, it's quite of a pain to knit when you have more than um, a couple of ends, especially when the yarn is really fine, it kind of catches, so I don't really recommend it, but it works and all you have to do is just have a bit more patience. We are ready to actually create the rib on our neckline. I'm going to knit one row. And now I'm going to change my sinker plate for the double bed one. Also attach a couple of weights and I'm going to transfer it to have a one by one rib across. And once I finished transferring everything, all I have to do is to knit my one by one rib, which is basically going to be my neck trim. I'm using tension 1.1 on both beds. I want my trim to be half of the trim that I have at the bottom of the garment, so at the bottom I have 40 rows and now I'm going to knit 20. And for the last two rows I'm going to change my color and I'm going to add a little detail. So I knitted two rows and I want to knit another row and I'm going to loosen my tension this time because I want to transfer all the stitches from river bed on my main bed and then I want to cast off. And here's the neckline I just created. It looks so nice and neat and no need to link your rib afterwards. The only thing you have to consider is that, for example, this one here is a higher neckline. And if you want to achieve a lower neckline, you'll have to do some tests and to practice and see what works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a couple of things from this video. As always, if you do try any of the things you've learned here, please don't forget to tag me or uh, message me on Instagram.